What's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my boyfriend. What's going on? This is Star. And we just came back. <laughs> yeah, this is Star. We just came back from Canada. And while we were there, I went into like um, one of the little delis that they have. And I picked up a whole bunch of random Canadian candy that I've never tried before. So we're going to try some Canadian candy today and see if it's any good. <laughs> 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 okay, so I got this bag of candy. And before we start, my best friend told me that you can find these in America, but I've never seen these in America, so. But we're still gonna try this. These are called Pockies. These are biscuit sticks dipped in chocolate. I don't know. Let's try these first. Let's see. I hope they're good. I usually hate trying new things, but uh, candy, how bad can it be? Right? I'm a little skeptical, but... Oh, and when you open the box, it's like this, so it's like you can put them back in and keep eating them. It's kind of cute. convenient. Canadians care. <laughs> Canadians do care. They were so <laughs> nice out there. Okay. <sighs> Let's eat a fucking Pocky. Ooh, it looks good. It it reminds okay. me of a chocolate covered pretzel. What could I could do with this? <laughs> I like it. It's cute. It's literally like a chocolate covered pretzel with no salt. And less flavor than a pretzel. It's a biscuit. Okay. Should we rate these things or? We should rate them. I should give it on a scale of one to five. Three. I would give it a three too. Okay. No, solid. Gets the job done. <laughs> Got the munchies that'll work for the help. Yeah, I can't eat too many. That's because I'm not big on chocolate. And almost all of these things are chocolate. Next, I'm gonna try these Smarties. You thought they weren't chocolate. Yeah, I thought these were like, like Smarties in America, just different types, but they're actually not. They're chocolate. It's chocolate with candy around it. It's like an M&M. &M. I wonder if they come in like three different colors. They have three different slots that you can open, so I wonder if there's three different colors. I don't know, they're just literally... There's literally like three different slots that you can eat them out of. Oh look, it's so cool, you pour them out. Conveniency. Canadians really care about their like, candy. Let's try them. <laughs> red pill of... Blue, blue. <laughs> red or blue pill. <laughs> Shit, this is a hard decision. Ooh. I didn't know I had to make this like right here. <sighs> Which one is the Matrix pill? Again. I don't remember. Uh, mm. Okay. I knew you were gonna pick the blue one. Something told me. I always have one right. blue pill. Hmm. First thing I think of is M and M Z. No. I feel like. It's like an M&M, but the candy on the outside is thicker than M&M candy. It's like literally candy and chocolate in the middle. It's pretty good. Let me get one more. I'm going to say, yeah, it's interesting. <laughs> like I need to try it. Want to? I'll take two. Yeah. yeah. Going? I like Smarties. Let me give this on a scale of one to five. You go first. I went first last time. I give it a four. I would have to give it a four as well. You know, potential five, but I got to see the competition first. I feel like if I keep eating too many, I don't like them. That's why I give it a four. The next thing I got is called Arrow Truffle. 
That shit looks brolic. I don't know if they have these in America. I've never seen it in America. But it was in Canada, so I'm trying it. Oh, another cool thing about in Canada, everything, all the packaging, all the packages in Canada, there's printed in like um, English and French. So that's pretty um, cool. Yeah. Like the Ciroc out there said Ciroc De La Oh yeah, like the peach Ciroc <laughs> says like Ciroc Piche or yeah. I don't know how you speak French, but yeah. Oh, this pretty is expensive, thick. The liquor. Yeah, the liquor is more expensive out there, but our money's worth more. So it's like, is it really? This is super thick. I am not going to, I have a feeling I'm not going to like this. Oh, but they're a little, little bites. This is what this thing looks awesome. like. Hershey shit. Super thick, but it comes in little, you can like break these off. Let's try one. Oh, it's really like fluffy in the middle. Really arrow. Hmm, it looks good. I uh, hope so. Looks like it can do some damage. Mm. Mm. That's good. This real chocolatey bar, you know, fluffy chocolate. It's too chocolatey for me. Yeah. One bite at a time. I give these a two. Just because you can literally only eat one little piece at a time. But I guess that's a good thing. If you don't want to eat too much candy, one of these makes you feel like you eat an entire candy bar. I think. What do you I give, give it? A, I give them a three. three. You know, I'm a little more tolerant to that type of stuff. So. Yeah, I'm not big on chocolate. <clears throat> you know, I could go ham if I want to on the chocolate. Hmm. The next are glossettes. These are chocolate covered peanuts, but they had a whole bunch. They had um, chocolate covered raisins, <laughs> chocolate covered almonds, chocolate covered something, but I want to try the peanuts. Put that lid back on, right? Real tight. This one has good packaging too. All the packaging in Canada is pretty good, except like the arrow bar. But this one is good because you can close it and then you can pop the thing back in and you can actually keep your candy inside. That's dope. I think most candies are like that. Mm-mm. Not well. Well, the boxes. yeah, a lot of them now with the boxes, but this one's cool because it has two flaps. The other ones don't have that. It's literally you just put poke a hole inside of it and slide it in. Let's try. Uh Chocolate covered peanuts. You like peanuts? Cool, they're cool. Yeah. I like these. They remind me of M&M's without the candy coating around them. So would you rate them? That's fair. I think I'll give these a three. Because I like peanuts. But I would not eat peanuts every day. But I could eat <coughs> these. Like, I could see me finishing the box. Three and a half. Why would you mm -hmm. do that? Because I do like them. But I'm just not big on chocolate like that. Because I was going to say two and a half. <laughs> 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 now I just look like a copy guy. <laughs> But um, yeah, I like them. They're cool. Um, they're just real cool and real casual kind of treat. Okay, next thing is an O. Henry. And I've never seen this one in America, so I really don't know. This is an O. Henry. It's a big crunch cookie bar. So this should be interesting. Yeah, it's supposed to be a cookie bar. Oh, it comes with two like in there. Hmm. Yeah, I know he loves cookies. <laughs> I don't those mm -hmm. Maybe a little higher than a 2.5? Mm. <laughs> They're convenient. 
Yeah, they are. Just pop them in. And I feel like they're kind of good for you because they're peanuts, so I feel like it's a cheap snack. And I'm black. I'm peanuts are just in my dreams, I guess. It's like watermelon. Wow. Or chicken. I can't. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It comes with two inside. It's starting to melt already. I'm just going to take a bite. You one by yourself? Mm-mm. I'm going to take a bite. It looks like a Snickers kind of. Mm -hmm. A Milky Way. Okay. Well, the cookie inside to me, it's like the cookie of a Twix. It's pretty much like a Twix. Like cookie, caramel, something on top. But I feel like there's like a peanut in there on top. Is that peanuts? Yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's literally a Twix with peanuts on the top layer. Mm. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's Guess pretty good. I what that means. I give this one... Uh, once again, because I'm not big on chocolate, but it's actually good. A three. I give it a four. It's just like Snickers, Twix. Those are like my favorite U.S. chips. So, you know. It's literally a Snicker and Twix put together. Real familiar to my tongue. I'm glad I got this napkin because my finger is chocolatey. And the last one. The only fruity candy I could find. They're called Fruit Tella. And I thought they were like um, Starburst or what are those things called that you choose? Mambas? I thought they were like Starburst or Mambas. And then I read the ingredients and they're actually like really natural candy. So we're going to find out if these are good. Fruit Tella with fruit juice. Hmm. It looks like a Starburst. Yeah, right? Okay, it just says fruit on it. Nutella. <laughs> and I guess they come in twos because we got two of these raspberry looking ones and then the next two are green. So I'm guessing it's the next two. I'm guessing they go in twos. Okay. Technical difficulties. Can't get the paper off. Candy. Um. As I struggle. Is that gonna lower your rating? <laughs> Maybe. Inconveniency. <laughs> Everything else been so convenient. <laughs> It's always going to be hard, but it's not hard. Hmm. Okay. Well, what do you rate these so far? One second. <laughs> First flavor. We're going to try one more flavor just to make sure. It's not just like a one flavor flute. When you first chew on them, they're real bubble gummy. You know, like they they might have the potential to be bubble gum in the future. <laughs> but um, then it starts getting starbursty. I don't think it's as juicy and flavorful, even though starburst flavor might just be artificial as fuck, and that's why. But it's pretty good. Um, I'd give it like a. 4.2 mm -hmm. to me <clears throat> these I thought they were going to be hard like an hour later but I was happy because they're soft like Starburst the flavor to me is really good and I'm surprised because it's all natural fruit, fruit flavors so that's surprising and it's really good I would give it a 5 because I actually like tangy candy this one's actually my favorite but I'm gonna give it a 4.9 just because of the fucking paper. It happened on the green one again, so it's like 
what's up with the paper sticking to all the candy. But that could just be... <laughs> you? Cause, no, it could just because it's all natural mm. and it doesn't have stuff on it to like keep the paper off of it. So I'm going to still give it a five then. I'm going to give it a five. These are my favorite. Mm. Can we have some more of them? Mm, of mm. course. I'm going to <laughs> Threw me all off. All right, so that was it. Um, we tried the Canadian candy. My favorite was the Fruitella. What about you? What was your favorite? Fruitella or the O. Henry? One of the two. Yeah, the O. Henry was pretty good too, which is the cookie bar. Yeah. So, thanks for watching us try this American candy. I hope this video was enjoyable. Canadian. Is it? I said Canadian? No, say American. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Thanks, man. Okay, so thanks for watching us try this Canadian candy. I hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, please like the video, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in my next one. And thank you for helping me film. Anytime. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.